Hello comrades. Today we're talking about the Soviet era PK family of weapons. It's famously known as the military world's best lightweight machine gun. Simple design, lightweight and respectable range and firepower. It has been widely adopted by militaries around the world. We will talk about its origin, where it all started from, its evolution over the years in the Russian military and in some NATO nations, and what future this gun holds in modern and future conflicts. Designed in the Soviet Union and currently in production in Russia, the original PK machine gun was introduced in 1961 and the improved PKM variant was introduced in 1969. The PKM was designed to replace the SGM and RP-46 machine guns that were previously in Soviet service. The gun was developed by a team of Izhevsk mechanical plant designers, headed by the legendary Mikhail T. Kalashnikov, who developed the infamous assault rifle AK-47. Their machine gun prototype was based on the well-proven gas-operated rotary bolt design of the Kalashnikov's AK platform. This allowed the weapon to be lighter than the other machine guns that followed the principles of the already established MG-42. The Kalashnikov and its competing prototypes underwent service tests in the Central Asian, Odessa, and Baltic military districts, as well as at the Vistral Officer Training Courses in late 1960. The Kalashnikov design won the competition and was found to be more reliable and cheaper to manufacture than its competitors. The weapon remains in use as a frontline infantry and vehicle-mounted weapon with Russia's armed forces and has also been exported extensively and produced in several other countries under license. The PKM is an open bolt gas-operated rotary bolt design of the Kalashnikov's AK assault rifle platform. The PKM weigh around 19.84 pounds, which makes it much easier to carry and fire by soldiers in the military operations. And compared to any variant of the M240, it is much lighter. It uses 7.62 by 54 mm non-disintegrating rounds, and with modification it can also use standard NATO rounds. And it is still used by the Polish military till this day. It can fire up to 650 rounds per minute sustainably, which is comparable to the M240. It also has a maximum firing range of up to 4,156 yards. Its muzzle velocity is 2,707 feet per second to provide high penetrating power at the long range. And it can cost up to $3,000 per unit, which is much cheaper than any M240's variants. The PKM is also used by some of the powerful militaries like Russia, China, North Korea, and India. The PK was born in 1961. It was forged from the intense heat of the Cold War. By 1969, they improved on the design, making it even lighter and the designation was the PKM. PKP was manufactured in all the former Soviet Union countries like Bulgaria, Hungary, Romania, and of course our friends over in Poland. The PKM has evolved over the years and each variant is designed to meet the specific requirement of the military. Then there is the PKS. It is a heavy version of the PK machine gun. It comes with a Samozenkov 6T2 tripod. It weighs around 36.38 pounds with the tripod. With the tripod, the accuracy of the PKS has improved dramatically in long-range firefights. The PKM was adopted by the Russian military in 1969. It is a modernized version of the PK machine gun. The main upgrades of the PKM includes weight reduction, simplifying production, and making them easier to operate in the battlefield. It also has an improved barrel and flash hider. Later on PKM was equipped with glass-filled polyamide buttstock and pistol grip to improve weapon handling. Then we have the PKMN, a more modernized version of the PKM equipped with Russia's Warsaw Pact rail system to allow mounting of long-range scope and night vision optics. It can mount NSPU-3 and NSPU-M night scopes. Both are Soviet-designed night vision optics. The PKT, the T stands for tank, is a coaxial machine gun which is basically mounted tanks and armored vehicles. Its modifications include the removal of the stock, a longer and heavier barrel, a gas regulator, and an electric solenoid trigger. There is also HCP-PKM. 
It is a completely modified version of the PKM used by the Poland military to use NATO rounds. PKP Pechenig is the most modern version of the PKM. It has a heavy fixed barrel encased in a radial cooling sleeve that uses forced air cooling. The PKP Pechenig can fire 600 rounds in rapid fire scenarios without damaging the barrel. When conducting a long firefight, it can fire up to 10,000 rounds of ammunition per hour with the effective rate of fire is almost equal to 166 rounds per minute without degrading the combat characteristics and reducing the life of the barrel. It is widely believed that the PKM is a far superior weapon system compared to the M240S. But in 1975 a classified test was held comparing the PKM and M60 by the US Army. It was concluded that the M60 is superior in every aspect to the PKM. But various military experts are refuting these claims to downplay the PKM's capabilities. The PKM fits perfectly within Russian infantry tactics, even went on the defensive. Russian commanders are taught by the military to launch attacks. The whole army is built for offense. They have no light infantry, only mechanized units. PKM is mobile enough to allow soldiers to always be on the move. Russia doctrine is based on maneuvering two fire positions instead of the US approach, which is to create a base of fire and then maneuver under that. So if you're a Russian soldier and you're running without suppressive fire to your fire position, you'd rather have the lightweight PKM than M240. The Soviet tactical strategy with the PKM has changed over the decades. Originally, it was a company-level weapon and none of the power tributes had it during the Russian war in Afghanistan. They started to issue more troops to PKM in 2008 after their war with Georgia. Even though they achieved their goals, they felt that it exposed a lot of weak points in their military. So they created what was called the New Look Reform for their army. Their move was to replace many of their RPKs with the PKM instead. Some sources cite as many as 6 PKM per platoon at the commander's discretion. This is the only portable belt-fed machine gun that they use, unlike the US Army that has two separate ones. Now let's talk about the future of this firearm. The PKP is the final stop on this journey. The Russian Special Forces version is called the PKP-SP. It just came out in 2017 and these are not minor cosmetic upgrades here, but fundamental changes to the spirit of the weapon has an extended maximum range of 1,500 meters. Thanks to its heavier barrel and the steel jacket around it that's meant for cooling, this cooling integration means that PKP no longer needs barrel swaps and it doesn't even allow the option. The PKM is known around the world as the best general purpose machine gun ever created.